I mean, sort of the cross-referencing automation point, um, which is a very handy tool, um, particularly where you're dealing with a longer document and you sort of want to jump between one clause and the other. There's a functionality that in Word that allows you to sort of automate that cross-reference. So if you right-click on it, sort of control-click on it, it will automatically jump to that clause back and forth. Um, so if we can play demo one, we'll run through the cross-reference example. So we've got an example of this is standard confidentiality agreement or NDA. Not too long, just a few pages, um, but you'll classically find a few sort of cross references here. So if we give it a sort of on the face review, scrolling through, it's not much that really comes to mind on the face of it. Um, you might see, right, so we've got it sort of like a term provision, a few, few instances there, nothing towards the end. But ordinarily in practice, have to do with this is already automated with first check within the others. Yep, we missed one earlier on, so we know that that's there. Final search sort of would come down to four in total. So I'd now go in and I would manually automate the cross reference. So I pick my relevant clause, insert. That's automated. Scroll down to the rest. Essentially, do the same thing. It's not too time consuming. Sort of, I'm only dealing with four or five cross references. You can see how very quickly dealing with a longer document, this might become a bit bit painful, almost something that you might want to outsource. Um, what I do like about it, so what Word gets right is that, first of all, it'll tell you by sort of graying it out if it is uh, working. And you can sort of right click on it and automatically sends you to the provision. You can sort of go back and forth, which is a wonderful function. But if I were to, you know, delete this relevant clause three, I'm faced with an issue of now automating those out of date cross references. So I'd again have to manually go in and I'll sort of turn tracks and demonstrate this. Manually go in, select the ones that I want to update, right click, update these fields. And already I've got, you know, first issue is I've got an error, I've got a missing section. There's not really been any prompt that this might happen had I not updated it myself. Um, equally, I'm not really prompted to know whether there are others that haven't been updated. So if I, for example, forgot the one that was high record provision. Um, and again, you can quickly see no one's going to mentally keep track of all of this if you have a much longer document, but it's fit for purpose, but it doesn't do really everything that I wanted to do. So if we go ahead and pause the video there, please. Things that might be helpful is if I could sort of, if there was software that could tell me, you probably have a cross-reference here, you might want to automate it. It might be in a different color, it might be auto-updated for me. And equally, if the provision is dropped such that the cross-reference is broken, I should be given a prompt for that as well. So if I go out to print my document, turn to PDF, auto-update, forget to do a control F for all the error messages, I'm not facing an embarrassing situation where I've handed something to a client that I have to sign with a nice error message right on the front. So it's a good tool, but it doesn't really fix all the problems that you face um, sort of in a day-to-day -day legal work environment. So I'm certain that, you know, Come on, made it should be software that can sort of tackle those issues. 